When you're thinking about buying a home and getting a mortgage, it's important to consider what your total monthly housing expense will be. Total monthly housing expense includes your mortgage payment in addition to other housing related expenses such as taxes and insurance. So basically the all-in cost of owning a home. I'm going to use an example to walk through the different cost components of total housing expense one by one. In this example, let's review a borrower who is purchasing a $333,333 home. A borrower makes a down payment of 10% of the purchase price, or $33,333, and obtains a mortgage for the remainder of the purchase price, so $300,000. Let's assume our borrower gets a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage with an interest rate of 4.25%. First, let's start with the monthly mortgage payment, which is the largest component of total monthly housing expense. Based on our loan amount, interest rate, and mortgage term, our monthly mortgage payment in this example is approximately $1,475. And if you multiply our mortgage payment by 12 months, we pay $17,700 in total mortgage payments over the course of the year. Your mortgage payment is comprised of principal, which is the part of your payment that goes to paying down your mortgage balance, and interest, which is the part of your mortgage payment that goes to paying the lender for borrowing money. Principal and interest are often called P&I for short. Please note that with a fixed rate mortgage, your monthly mortgage payment does not change over the life of the loan, but the split between principal and interest does change as your payment consists of mostly interest at the beginning of your mortgage and mostly principal at the end of your mortgage. The next component we're going to cover is property tax. Most states charge a tax when you own a property. Property taxes are typically collected twice a year, although depending on your lender and mortgage program, you may be required to pay property tax on a monthly basis into a special account called an impound account, which is controlled by the lender from which your taxes and other expenses are paid when due. Property taxes vary by county and can range from 0.5% to 3% of the value of the property. In this example, let's say our property tax rate is 1%, so approximately $280 per month or $3,333 per year. Next, we're going to look at homeowner's insurance. This is insurance that protects you and the lender in case something like a fire damages your house. This is also known as hazard insurance. Lenders require that borrowers have homeowner's insurance to obtain a mortgage. Insurance premiums vary depending on the value of your property and where it's located, as well as your coverage level and deductible. Homeowner's insurance is typically paid for on an annual basis. In this example, let's say our annual homeowner's insurance cost is $350, so our monthly cost is approximately $30. Together, principal, interest, tax, and insurance insurance are often referred to as PITI for short. These are the components of monthly housing expense that borrowers almost always have to pay. But there are additional housing expenses a borrower may be required to pay depending on your property type and mortgage program. If you're buying a condominium or a property in a multi-unit development, in many cases you are required to pay a monthly fee called a homeowners association or HOA fee for the maintenance and upkeep of the development. Depending on your type of building and where you live, these may also be known as co-op fees. HOA fees vary depending on many factors including the size and age of the complex and the value of the properties. HOA fees can run from less than $100 per month to over $1,000 per month. Although an HOA fee is not always required, let's use $250 per month in this example or $3,000 per year. Another potential component of monthly housing expense is private mortgage insurance, or PMI. Depending on the amount of your loan relative to the value of your property, which is known as loan-to-value or LTV ratio, you may be required to pay PMI. PMI is typically required when the loan-to-value ratio exceeds 80%, so the amount of your loan exceeds 80% of the value of your house. In this example, the value of our home is $333,333 and the amount of our mortgage is $300,000, so our loan to value ratio or $300,000 divided by $333,333 is 90%. PMI typically requires that the borrower pay an ongoing annual fee paid monthly. The borrower can stop paying PMI when the loan to value ratio falls below 80%, but the borrower has to request the removal of the PMI. Again, PMI is not applicable to all borrowers, but we have to pay it in our example because our loan to value ratio is 90% and the ongoing PMI cost is approximately 0.45% of our mortgage amount per year. So $113 per month or $1,350 per year in this example. The final component of total monthly housing expense that we are going to discuss is called mortgage insurance premium or MIP. If you obtain a mortgage through the FHA home loan program, you're required to pay an upfront and ongoing annual mortgage insurance premium, which is an additional cost on top of your monthly mortgage payment. The FHA offers government
government-backed mortgage programs designed to help low-income individuals and individuals with limited funds buy a home, but the program requires the borrower to pay the extra MIP. The amount of ongoing MIP depends on mortgage amount loan-to-value ratio, and mortgage term. In this example, if we were to obtain a mortgage through the FHA program, our MIP would be $325 a month or $3,900 per year. I want to point out that you would never have to pay both PMI and MIP. It would either be one or the other, if applicable. So to summarize, borrowers almost always have to pay Principal Interest Taxes and Insurance, or PITI, and you may be required to pay additional costs, if applicable, such as HOA fees, private mortgage insurance, also known as PMI, or the FHA mortgage insurance premium, also known as MIP. Now that you understand total monthly housing expense, you can select the mortgage size and program that is right for you. We encourage you to review related freeandclear.com videos such as what size mortgage can I afford and what mortgage program is right for me and also check out the first time home buyer basics guide on freeandclear.com. Thank you for reviewing understanding total monthly housing expense with freeandclear.com. Free and